Continuing our conversation about learning environments, let's talk a little bit more about what to include beyond visual structures. There are lots of things that you can miss if you aren't careful, all of which your students may need, depending, of course, on how you design your learning plan. For example, try to include a water cooler type of space. Of course, you don't need to call it a water cooler. All you might want to do is include a space, say, a forum or discussion board or blog comment area, where your learners can converse freely, be it about coursework or something only vaguely related. Remember, this is about creating a comfortable space for learning. Including flexible conversation spaces is helpful. Be sure to let your students know if it will or will not be monitored by you and whether or not you'll be participating. Additionally, always include instructor contact information in a visible space, ideally in multiple places or accessible from multiple places in your OLE. Be sure to be consistent that you are providing the same contact information and contact preferences to your learners. Now, as far as course availability and settings in an LMS or OLE, there can be a lot to cover, and most of the types of settings can vary widely depending on the system of your choice. What I can say is that you should always keep an eye out for enrollment settings and ensure that your students are all properly enrolled in receiving information. Often, this can be done with a test run. Try creating a discussion post and asking for everyone to reply if they received it. Be sure to check privacy settings of the course. Some OLEs offer the option to keep their site private or only open to enrollees. Others make it possible to create passcodes for access or perhaps simply be publicly available. Think about what would be best for your students if they would want their conversations public or private and make your choices accordingly. Try to err on the side of caution when in doubt. Be sure to also include a calendar if appropriate to your lessons. This can also be a simple agenda or a meeting reminder for one-time sessions. Or it can be a highly detailed full schedule for longer courses. Again, as with everything in course management, this is a decision that you, as educator, must make for your students. Specifically, working online has its own perks when it comes to schedule. You can usually easily send out announcements to every learner, set ranges or due dates on assignments to automatically kick in, and automate other notifications. Of course, there are a lot more perks for automating your classrooms and making the OLE work for you. Truly, too many to count. So, remember to explore and research the capabilities of your OLE of choice. Keep track of the resources you use, need, and share. Include a place for resources in your OLE too. You can make it created and editable only by you, or you can make it accessible and editable by your students so that they can add relevant information as well. You can create a single page for these resources, or you can create them for different sections or assignments in a course. Keep in mind that this can include links out to technologies and software downloads that they may need. Just remember to check your links and check copyright. When it comes to those places for conversation, navigating the online spaces can be difficult. If you have established communication and participation policies, like we discussed in week one, this will be easier to work with. However, controlling your conversation spaces can be very time consuming. Just remember that as facilitator of learning, you have the ability to craft policies that require certain participation quantities and qualities, and you have the ability to control how much you interact. Remember that by asking open-ended and probing questions further into conversation, you can direct the discussion toward the learning you wish to see. Or, if you prefer to see where a conversation goes, you have the ability to let loose a little bit. As with all things course management, make it your own and make it work for your learners.